Since signing with Hollywood Records, Grace Potter and the Nocturnals have seen a steady rise in popularity. Members of this five-piece rock band, led by Vermont native Grace Potter, are road warriors. Playing over 200 shows a year, the band has gained fans and rave reviews across the country. But even with her newfound fame and hectic schedule, Grace makes a point of yearly winding her way home to the village of Waitsfield. All right. I love you, Dad. Oh, love thanks, you. baby. All right, I have a question. Yes. All right, so we have these, these oh, the amazing, curtains, amazing yeah. curtains, okay, so there's... These curtains. The creative juices are always flowing in the Potter family. Yeah, this, this in the early 70s, her dad, small. Sparky, so started his Wood and Wood Company, designing three-dimensional signs for companies across the globe. Now he's working with his daughter, designing stage pieces for her upcoming music festival. The thing that we probably do the best as a family is kind of create stuff. And uh, Grace has got a, a great design head, and she makes quick decisions. And so she's a good client. <laughs> so oftentimes you can't get people to say what they like and what they really think they want to have, and that can take forever. But uh, Grace, you know, she thinks things through quickly. And then the wings go where? On the top of this? It's easy to collaborate with Dad because we speak in a shorthand, and there's a, a clear communication and an understanding of what I'm looking for. And he's a great collaborator. I mean, he works with so many clients to perfect and create the thing that they want. Just sitting with him and creating this stuff, it reminded me of being a kid again, painting wood blocks and stones and whatever my dad would put in front of me. It just kind of brought me back to how the Potter family operates okay. in general, which is just constant cool. state of creation. There you go. The finished set pieces made it to Burlington's waterfront for the first annual Grand Point North Festival. The name Grand Point North is about Burlington. That's about the location and why I love the state of Vermont. To me, it is the grandest point. You know, there's that view uh, when you're at the waterfront, in the waterfront park, you look out, and there's that gorgeous little peninsula. To me, it just, it, it seems like the Grand Point. It seems like a place that I'd want to be forever. I, when I, if I was a bird and I was flying over the lake and I was trying to pick a place to land, I would land right there. The weekend-long event gave both local bands and national acts a chance to showcase their music to more than 7,000 fans at one of Vermont's most beautiful venues. I've been dreaming about this festival for almost a decade, so I hope Grand Point North will be around for a long time. <laughs>